Welcome to today's Tech Tips with Vickers. Today we're going to check out Symbaloo. So we're here at Symbaloo.com. Symbaloo is a way for you to make uh, a board with buttons that take people to specific places. Uh, this is uh, the Symbaloo homepage and you'll see that it has all these different squares and with these squares uh, they take you to different places. This one takes you to a game called Geodash. You'll notice it has a brown color. You can specify what color border you want. Uh, it looks like these are soccer games. Uh, it looks like this whole one is games. Let's look at uh, their tab called Tools. So now here for Tools, they have uh, a link to Grammar Checker, uh, Google Drive, Dropbox, Pandora, Spotify. You click on this button and it takes you to that place. So it is literally a menu for you to create for your viewers. So I want to show you real quick how to, how to sign, uh, create a free, free account. Um, you are a teacher. We'll create a teacher account now. I actually have one already. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you how to use the free one. Create free account now. Always sign up with Google. This is the easiest way to do it. It'll help save all your stuff. Once you sign up with Google, as long as you're signed into your Google Chrome, it's gonna take care of you and uh, set up the account. You have a couple of permissions you need to read and accept. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in real quick and uh, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use Symbaloo. So I'm gonna sign in with Google, just like you were gonna create a free account with Google. So here is my empty test Symbaloo. I want to add one. Select which tile, click on it, it brings up this menu. We're going to create a tile. Uh, we will have this one go to www.rsu14.org, our school district website. I can add a name for it rsu 14 up it finally found the website it went ahead and filled it in for me i would like for it to show the text so i'm going to abbreviate it here so that it looks somewhat better you'll notice that it also created a logo for me i can also change that logo here i can choose a picture of my own I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. So I've got the website in, I've got the name on the tile. I can change the color of the tile. And you can always see the preview. And then I click save. I've just created that tile. Uh, now I need this tile to be moved. I can just click and drag, move it to anywhere I want. I can also increase the size of my symbol. Resize web mix. Here it allows you to move a row out, move a row in. It's as small as it'll get that way. So it was resized. So then I turn it off and the tool disappears. I can add a wallpaper to the back. Very easy to personalize. So that's a quick overview on how to use Symbaloo. Uh, check it out. Good place for you to store resources for your students. All right, so now we're going to share our symbol. Right here, we have the share button at the top. When I click on it, it is going to give me some options. Here, I can get a shareable link. Uh, I can share with a workspace, which uh, other members would be able to uh, work with it here in the collaboration. Uh, this would be a view only, and notice that these are Pro Plus uh, subscription would need to be uh, purchased. So with the create shareable link, which is going to be the most common, we're going to share this web mix. Make sure you name it. <clears throat> Give a little description. You can change this if you would like to. That way when people search for it, it would have uh, different keywords that would cause it to show up. Uh, you can keep it private or you can make it public where it is searchable. 
So once I click share my web mix, it's also going to open up this right hand side where you can copy uh, the link and you can also get the uh, embed code if you're going to embed it to your website. Copy and paste that into your teacher page. Thanks for watching today's Tech Tip with Vickers. Have a great day.